Let's take a look at how we can go through some squatting patterns with some reaching patterns using our Ziva tube. Now what I've done thus far is just anchored the tube to something behind me. Now this can be a post, it could be a pole, it could be a piece of equipment. Just make sure that that piece of equipment isn't going to fall back onto you. Okay, so have something sturdy behind you. From here, we're going to bring the tubes underneath us, or underneath our armpits, and we're going to lock them in place with our thumbs. Okay, we'll then go to a squatted position here. I step forward a little bit to add some resistance. You're going to go through a squatting pattern, and then from there, stand and reach. Now when you go through this reach, you can go at various heights. When you're first starting, pressing low is going to be a little bit more easier due to the fact that there's going to be less resistance. Pushing higher is going to increase the lever length, which will also add resistance to your reach. Okay? If you can't go through those deep squatting patterns, first thing you can do is step back that's going to give you less resistance. If you can still press but can't squat as well, you can step out and then just go to less of a depth in your squat and then reach. Understand that you don't have to go to full range of motion with each movement, just do what's most comfortable for you. That is some squatting and reach patterns with your Ziva tube.